The service accounts management tool will let you scan and find where service accounts are being used in your uh, Active Directory domain environment. So to use this tool from the AD Pro Toolkit, click on Security Tools, and then click on Service Accounts Management. And by default, it will scan the entire domain. You can just click Run, but if you wanted to uh, scan a specific OU, uh, just click Browse and select that OU. Uh, I'm going to do the entire domain, so I'll just click Run. And it's going to go scan all the computers in my domain. It's going to pull back the Windows services and schedule tasks and show you uh, what those tasks and services are running as. So you can see a column here running as, and it's going to show you the account it's running as. Um, so once this is done running, you'll want to filter this to quickly uh, filter out a, a lot of these default accounts. Another option is to, uh, when you run the scan, is to exclude them. So I'm going to stop this and rerun it. So if you're looking to find specific service accounts, uh, in, check in this box, exclude built-in accounts, filters all, a lot of the stuff out and it makes it easier to find uh, specific service accounts. You can also just use the search button if you don't want to uh, run it this way. You can let it scan and find everything and then use the search button here to find specific accounts. But as I look through here, you can see I've got some accounts. Here's a, here's a, a domain account. Uh, it's running a scheduled task on DC1. Uh, some built-in administrator accounts. Here's some regular user accounts that are running some OneDrive tasks. Uh, here is a Forest1 account running a scheduled tasks. So you can see really easy to scan computers and find uh, what they're being used for. Again, I can also search. So if I wanted to search for a specific account, I can use the search button there and display those accounts. You can also filter on any columns. So if I wanted to remove, say, you know, all of these, if I don't want to see all these SIDs, I could then just find specific accounts that way. Uh, you could also search for a specific account. So if you know a service account that's out there, Type it in and then click search. And it will pull back just that account that you're looking for. And then from here, uh, yeah, it's showing you computers that aren't connected. So from here, um, once you get your report, you can export this. So once you have the report, um, you can click on export. You want to export it out to a CSV, Excel file, and a PDF. And then again, here's the report without excluding everything. And then you could filter it from here. So you can see it's pulling in all of these default network authority accounts, local service accounts, SID accounts. So from here, you could just filter instead of listing everything, just find the accounts that you want to view. Monday test. Robert Allen. Test account. Close that. So now you got a clean list of uh, specific accounts, where they're running. And that's it again. So really easy way to scan your computers. Uh, it does require the tool scans the computers using WMI. So if you have the Windows firewall enabled, uh, you will do, you'll need to make sure those endpoints have WMI enabled so the tool can scan and connect and report back the uh, service accounts. That's it. Thanks for watching.